Good morning and welcome. It's Saturday 13th of June and this is Barrow Baptist and our daily service. I'm Janet and this is Adrian and we're members of that Barrow. Today it's the Queen's official birthday and there should have been Trooping of the Colour today, a grand celebration down in London to celebrate the Queen's birthday but apparently that is not happening because of the coronavirus and she's having a more quieter do affair at uh, Winter Castle, I believe. Um, this is the last of our daily services and next week we will go to having just one per week on a Thursday at 10 a.m. Um, so please join us then. Um, and also next week we have a coffee morning on Wednesday. So we'd love to see you then. So for now we pass over to Ben and to the worship team.
Well, hello, welcome to the final of our daily services. As next week, we will be going to a midweek service on a Thursday, as well as our Sunday service. But this week, we've been looking back, reflecting on lessons that we've learned during this time. I've done this uh, going through the alphabet. So we had uh, all together, um, how we've all been through similar situations, but also how God's, uh, his message is for each one of us. We've had Barrow representing our communities, the great thing we've seen and the good things we want to see continue. Uh, on Wednesday, we had church uh, looking at what church actually is and how we can um, be that community together. Um, that reminder that we've had during this time that is it is about the people and not just buildings or institutions. Um, D was devotional, uh, daily, daily time with God. Um, and looking to continue that or start that as as uh, depending on the situations we've been in over the coming weeks and months. And yesterday we looked at engagement, how far more people have engaged in things like church services, in looking for prayer, all those things. And how can we continue to engage in those areas and more as we look to what uh, we can do as a church and we can do as individuals. So today we come to F which is our final day. And uh, that F that we're going to look at is the future and specifically our future hope. And I think this is something that's um, been really important to reflect on during this time and to notice, I think, the difference. Because in the midst of all that's gone on, there has been a massive fear on uh, death, a massive fear about what will happen, about um, in some senses there's been this uh, idea that at all costs um, death is something we we must avoid and that seems to make sense at first but then you think um, one day each one of us will face this, um, not to say that in a scary way just in the truth way that this is something each one of us has to face and I think perhaps this time has made people have to face that a bit more. Now, I'm not talking about um, all those people who have gone through tragedies themselves. Um, and any we know that any death that, uh, that happens is something that really affects us. And uh, I think that's the thing in it, though. I think um, the pain of death is seen by those around. But the fear that people have been getting for um, perhaps for themselves or, or for others um, that actually prevents them even living life is something is the is the thing I'm talking about is this this fear of death that prevents us even living properly is not a not a good thing at all and actually when we read God's word we see that there should be no fear in death and to to flip that um, we actually have not just uh, not fear in death but we have a future hope a hope beyond uh, this life, a hope that can sustain us when times are tough, a hope that can uh, bring us into new things. So in uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, um, Paul says this uh, from verse 16, we do not lose heart, even though our outer nature is wasting away, our inner nature is renewed day by day. For this slight momentary affliction is preparing us for an eternal weight of glory beyond measure. Because we look not at what can be seen, but at what cannot be seen. For what can be seen is temporary, but what cannot be seen is eternal. And I think that's been uh, one of the biggest things during this time is actually a reminder certainly it's been a reminder to me and I'm sure it's a reminder to others that actually we do carry in us this message of hope this message of hope for the world this message of hope for our communities for those around us that where people do live in fear we have a message of hope that in in Christ Jesus we are set free not only now but eternally Paul said the first uh, sentence there was that our outer nature is wasting away, but our inner nature is being renewed day by day. And that thing of us wanting to follow God, wanting to to learn more about him, to be more like him, 
our inner nature is being renewed day by day. If you remember a um, couple of days ago when I talked about that daily devotions being like that tree planted by water that bears good fruit, that is always fed. If we're engaging with God on that level and, and doing that, our inner nature is renewed day by day. But because of that, as Paul said, we look at not what can be seen, but what cannot be seen. Because what cannot be seen is eternal. And I think for me, as I say, sp particularly, this time has reminded me how much uh, importance there is for us to be sharing that message with others. To be sharing a message of hope that we have. To be sharing the good news of Jesus. It's just been um, that bit of a boost to say, actually, people do need to hear this. But not only do people need to hear it, and people really do need to hear it, but not only that, people do want to hear it. They want to um, find that hope, find that something um, that God has the answer to. And so as uh, we do look forwards and as we're thinking of these lessons that we've learned, I think one of the biggest ones for me, one of our biggest takeaways is that reminder um, that we should be uh, sharing God's good news with others. Jesus said as he returned to heaven, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations and baptise them in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit and teach them to obey everything I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. And it was Jesus' final instruction to his disciples, his followers, and it's his instruction to each one of us today. Go to the ends of the world, go to every corner, go to... Uh, that starts with going to our neighbours, going to our communities to share with them the good news that Jesus has for us and share with them the hope that we have because we have life in him. Let me pray. Lord, we uh, just thank you that you do give us a future hope. That Lord, our hope is not in things here that will waste away, that will be destroyed. Lord, our hope is in you. That Lord, you, um, we do not need to fear death because you have overcome. And so, Lord, we pray as we hear that challenge, Lord, to go and share that good news with others. Lord, that, that hope that we have that others might be crying out for. Lord, we pray you'd make us bold, that, Lord, we would step out and share, um, share you with those around us. Help us in all of that, we pray. Amen.
thank Ben and the worship team for their message, for Ben's message and for the worship we've had. Uh, there will be a few notices at the end of this session. Um, over this course this week, we've looked back at what we've learnt. Um, we've had all together, we've looked at Barrow, we've had looked at the church, devotions, and yesterday we had engagement. So I'm going to pray about engagement. Father, we thank you that through this time, um, despite being difficult, Lord, there's been opportunities to reach out to those who we wouldn't normally come into contact with. Lord, for those that we've met through the food bank, for those who we've met who've um, engaged with the services, Lord, online, we thank you for them. And Lord, pray that we would have that wisdom to know the right way to continue staying in touch with them, to be feeding your word into them in, in some way, whether as individuals or as a church. We praise and thank you, Lord, for the technical ability we have within this church that's enabled us to do these services um, and the other things, the coffee morning, um, etc. online. Um, thank you for the blessing that that has been uh, that has enabled us to reach out. We thank you that when we don't know what to say, your word says that you will give us the right words, Lord. Amen. As promised, the notices. Tomorrow is a communion service on Zoom after the online message from Facebook Live. And also a message, that remember that it's the church members meeting next Thursday at uh, 7.30 on Zoom again. Hopefully all the information should be on your noti weekly notice sheet. If you haven't received that, then please do contact the office or by phone or by email. And I'm sure Ben or Claire will get back to you with the phone number or the link, whichever you need. So just to finish um, these words from scripture. Through this time, from his abundance, we have all received one gracious blessing after another. So goodbye and God bless. Goodbye. Bye.